Would I ever wear the Pat and Brad's? Hell no. They shiny as hell. That's like space shit right there. And I ain't traveling up in space. Hey everybody, it's Luke Darnall back with another video. Hope you're having a blessed, more importantly, a grateful day. Um, it's the small things you find everywhere. But I just wanted to give my honest impressions of the patent leather breads. They look good on a shelf, but I ain't about to be crunching around in my J's. It just doesn't flow with the get up. With that said, um, we'll just get right into it. Let's go ahead and BAM! Into a better camera angle. There we go. That makes me feel a lot better here. Patent leather just makes it look so much cleaner, but the thing is, I would never wear patent, like full patent leather shoes. Do not buy the patent leather ones. Just get fucking used ones, man, from the past. Um, I forget which, all right, I'm just gonna fucking show you guys right now. But see, I got these used off a of goat. I mean, they're not the best of shape, but I ain't a collector, man. I'm wearing these things. These things are gonna get beat up anyways, bro. They got a lot more wear on these. Spend the money on like used shoes, man. This is the look, bro. Like these, man, no comparison. These are so much nicer. And they don't stand out as like nearly as much. Who gives a shit if they're beat up? That's the point of shoes, man. Fucking rock them. Something like this, I'm just gonna feel fucking uncomfortable. It's, it's almost as if the shoe just feels uncomfortable too. It's just it's not supposed to be worn. I mean, from a collector's perspective, I totally understand. It looks so clean. It really does. Do not FOMO and buy something like this. Unless you are a collector, and unless you fucking like the shiny look, you go for it, man. But I felt like I just had to spread awareness. I don't know. These are, are not timeless, bro. Like, at all. Like, let's get those fucking out of here. Let me get some OGs up in here. Like these. These cost probably around the same price. I mean, these are really beat up. I'm cool with really beat up shoes. I mean, and I just wait for a lot of shoes to show up on like, I got these on GOAT, um, but GOAT, eBay, uh, is it Postmark or Postmark? I look at those apps fairly often when I'm after a certain shoe. And these, I mean, I really don't even fucking wear these. I might even just, I might even just sell them. But I guess what I'm getting at is I mean that's a pretty good comparison but I guess what I'm saying is these are a, a such better investment something used and beat up already because they are pretty much guaranteed to hold their value over time um, and uh, they just look 10 times better too and they don't stand out as much it's, it's a much better vibe bro like, so I, I guess I kind of just had to, I felt like inclined to kind of flex for these guys compared to patents. Because I really don't understand the hype here. I don't know what's driving it either. I mean, obviously I know what the, the core drive of this hype is. It's that the uh, Last Dance documentary on uh, Michael Jordan. But if you really want to like, you know, get the right shit. Just get it used and get some some breads, Jordan 1 size, you know, some OG retro used. That's the big thing here. So I'm just waiting for a lot of them to be available and then just, yeah, just wait. Just be patient, man. So as much as I like, like, the, the deeper colors here, I feel, it's just not wearable. And if it ain't wearable, fuck it. You know, the hard ones, the hard ones. If you want them, you get them, man. And, uh, but... I just kind of felt, yeah, that's it. So let me go ahead and back into a better camera angle for you guys. Um, I just really want to emphasize the importance of being aware of um, your motions here, I guess. The patent breads, I ain't digging it. If you're a collector, okay, I'm digging it, but I'm not. I'm trying to wear my sneakers and anything patent leather, it's just... 
just too standoutish to me. And uh, but to each his own, man. You do you. I'll do me. I just want to give you guys a better awareness of like if you if you really want to keep what's if you want to rock what's kind of more trendy, which will hold so much better resale or value in general. You want to get something already used. I mean, it's just gonna keep going up. Um, and uh, if anything, these patent breads are all, almost like a low-key distraction. Um, so, but yeah, I hope you guys uh, enjoyed the vid. I just kind of wanted to get that out because I am going to try to flip that um, probably within a month or so uh, just to get my cash back. I'm already up pretty good from, from lucking out and getting it retail for, what, 170 or 180 um, so I'm thinking at, at least around a $200 profit there. So whenever it bumps up around there, I'll just go ahead and flip it, come out, um, after fees and shipping and all that is, uh, said and done. It'll be at least 150 profit and that will just be going to shoes and merch or, you know, a tire, whatever, man. That's just the way you got to do it. You got to be trying to make income to spend it. So. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, if you can, please like um, and subscribe if you haven't already. This is super fucking like early. This is a new journey for me, and all of that like really does help me. Every one uh, additional really does help me. So uh, with that, I'll close. Um, keep your head up. The more the most important thing in life I found is just staying inspired, because um, that's what it's about. It's such a mental game. So. That, thank you all so much.